now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And, Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Troy Gloss. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boogie. It, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, Jared Walsh. What do you have on him? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Ready to go here. Go. Still stepping in for Boston. Dustin Pedroza. Dustin Pedroza. The pitch. Edge hey. of the zone for a strike. And we're underway. Late swing fouled off. over the plate on that outer third and that pitch finished right down the middle just a little bit in and he couldn't pull the trigger just wait box now line drive Edmonds makes the grab two down time now to check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox and Chris they're not lacking for guys that can hit the ball over the fence and with that said these guys have to be patient at the plate because the opposing pitchers are not just going to feed them fastballs down the middle they're going to have to get deeper into counts and it sometimes take the walks but when they get their pitches they don't usually miss them and that's what I'm expecting to see here in this one Jimmy hey. Fox the batter now as he swings oh, and misses down. for strike one just oh. missed Fouls it off, still one and two. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. One, two now. Gets under and pops it up. Napoli should have this one. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. Nothing doing for Boston. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. You're dialed in. And we're back. And our pitcher tonight, Roger Clemens. And Siggy, he's a workhorse. Loves pitching deep into his starts. There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters. And it's more of a chess match. But I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great. Now the third baseman, Cole Finnegan. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Jim Goss digs in now. Right through there for a strike. Finnegan on at first. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. There's a ball. Throw. Save. That's a stolen base. With a good arm behind the dish. It's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good, clean stolen base. He could be pretty proud of himself. Runner goes again. Pitch is low. 
for the third. He's safe. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, still in third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. And a pitch. And fouled off. Makes a mess of this one. It gets down. Here in the late stages of game two. Pitched into the sixth and was able to limit the damage. And a superb diving catch. Runner tagging and head for home. In comes the first run of the game as the Angels take the lead. Vladimir Guerrero, the next to hit for the Angels, blasted two home runs in last night's game. And that one fouled off. Guerrero goes six feet, three inches, 235 pounds, and he's a former home run derby champ. The pitch. Ball, that's in. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. One and two here. High fly ball out towards left field. Williams going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at-bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in in the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against it. Mike Trout at the plate with two away, swings through that one. One on one on the gun, swing and a miss. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back in Anaheim, and now the first baseman, Mo Vaughn. Walsh back to work. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And he deals. Struck him out swinging. And about front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Here's the left fielder, Ted Williams. Profar is out, and that's ball one. The Angels, two runs across in the inning, and this crowd really locked yeah. in right now. In for a strike, and the count one and one. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, hey. knows pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boo. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. Napoli drifts towards it, squeezes it, and that quickly two away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Ramirez. Mookie gets a lot of power into his swing, and this is just the latest example of it. Cronenworth, a seventh-round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan, where he was a two-way guy. And in fact, the Rays used him that way. That's strike one. Oils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And here it comes. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. Two outs, bases empty. Got him 
and swinging. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail here, one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Jim Edmonds. That one ripped right center field. Lays out and makes the play. And now, Tim Salmon. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Bounced up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So a man aboard now with one away. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now at the plate, Mike ah. Napoli. That oh, one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Check on the runner. Man, at first one away. The next offering misses. One and one. That one in triple digits. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And another ball. stop from his knees the throw there's one double play what a twin killing to end the inning no runs one hit no errors and no one left we head on now to the top of the third it's the Angels one and the Red Sox nothing back here at Angel Stadium top half of the third inning and now the center fielder Carl Yastrzemski. The pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Sizes this one up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Woo! He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And next for the Red Sox, Omar Garcia. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The Halos, one run across in the frame so far. The crowd really making some noise. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, two away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a fool. And stepping in for Boston, Dwight Evans. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. On the ground right side, Kendrick. Tosses the first, and that is the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, and it remains 1-0. And we're back. Here's some real power at the plate. Troy Gloss. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Going two now. And ball one. And now it's even up. The wind of the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right hander kicks deals. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. 
The high heat, too much on that one. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And now here is Howie Kendrick. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. That one the other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Cole Finnegan. Singleton scored his first time. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now the number two hitter, Jim Goss. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Pitch Ball misses. And it's one and oh. Just missed Clemens one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Yeah if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. And he blows that one by him at a hundred. Sends him down on strikes. Fastball to letters. All set for the start of the inning. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Dustin Pedroza. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a foul straight back. And that one is inside. That misses two and one. Fought off foul. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Wade Boggs up next for the Red Sox. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Angels, two runs across in the inning, and the crowd on its feet. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. He's been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Here's the catcher, Jimmy Fox. He's 0 for 1. Out to short. Yeah, and Boog, what gets me is the amount of preparation it takes for her to have games like this. You think? Vladimir Guerrero, the next to hit for the Angels. And the right hander back to work. On her way in. Well, pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something up. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now batting Mike Trout. And first offering is fouled off. Trout, 32 years old, and he's a former All-Star Game MVP. Righty delivers. That one finds the zone. 0-2. But misjudges this one, and it falls. And just about everyone standing here in the ballpark. Line drive, and it's caught for the out. So in now for the Angels, Jim Edmonds. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. 
Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. On one. Can't make the grab and it drops. Here in the late stages of game two. Swing and a miss at 100 miles an hour. Out to short Garcia. Gathers and throws to first. That's the third out. In a and welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter. Mo Vaughn. There's the strike. You know, these Red Sox, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. They're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every out the rest of the way. Whips it to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. So stepping in for Boston, Ted Williams. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Two seam fastball been very consistent. He's been able to throw it to both sides of the plate and some really good arm side run. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts they kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Two down, nobody on. They say you win. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Ground ball, left side. Sends it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So five perfect innings in the books. It's the Angels one and the Red Sox nothing. Back in Anaheim at the play. Tim Salmon. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And that gets down into the gap. Cut off, throw a second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you could come through with a good swing. And there she doesn't try to do too much. Mike Napoli, the next to hit for the Angels. He's 0 for 1. Swings through that one for strike one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Stepping in the long ball threat, Troy Gloss. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Late with the swing there. He's looking for a strikeout or a ball on the ground for a double play to sort of calm this situation down. In the air on the infield, and the infield fly is called. So digging in, Howie Kendrick. Now Over one so far. Baseman, Howie Kendrick. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. There's the strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. And they've done it. It's a combined no hitter. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. 
And there's a foul ball. Two on, two outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here at Angel Stadium, here's the center fielder, Carl Yastrzemski. Well, now here's Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. That's in there. That's strike one. Right through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. But the Tosses across the first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. And next for the Red Sox, Omar Garcia. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And that skips into there. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And stepping in for Boston, White Evans. Grounded out his first time. Swung on, belted. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So he's perfect through six. It's the Angels one and the Red Sox nothing. And we're back. And bottom of the sixth inning. So in now for the Angels, Jim Goss. Clemens back to work. Grisham, first round pick of the Brewers in 2015. Going one. And it's fouled away. The wind and the pitch. Good job to fight that one off. The wind and the pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now, Vladimir Guerrero. You know, these angels, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. And there's one down. Trout. Well, swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Action in the pen down there. Chris Sale, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. Ting also getting ready. All one there. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping. He gets the attention to walk here and now will force at any base with two gone. And now it's going to be Tim Salmon. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat. But this team does not oh, want to let him beat him. First pitch misses. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. That oh, one misses. And that's ball three. Mike Napoli waiting for a turn at the plate. 
And there's the automatic. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And that one fouled off. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Hard hit. Right side. In plenty of time to first. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Angels threaten but leave them loaded. They lead it 1-0. We go to the top of the seventh. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter. Dustin Pedroza. And a pitch. And a good eye there. He's doing a great job of keeping this lineup off balance. Swinging and missing at off-speed pitches that are just falling out of the zone. They need to make an adjustment before it becomes a habit. Looking to get the tying run on base. This one popped up. Brings it in. And there's one down. And they look to be pressing at the plate a bit. Swinging at change-ups that are clearly balls. Just trying to make something happen. The best approach is a relaxed approach. Boggs in the box again. Takes the strike. And that's down and away. Already three runs across in the frame. Bottom half of inning number two. That one fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Two down. And here's the catcher, Jimmy Fox. Just missed. Four runs already in the frame here in the late stages of game two. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That one out to right. Salmon makes the grab, and that's the inner. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's going to be Troy Gloss. The pitch. And there's the strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Good eye in that spot. One ball, one strike. And the right hater deals. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Howie Kendrick, the next to hit for the Angels. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Singy, it was close. Looks like they want a second to review it and possibly challenge the call if they think he beat the throw. Yeah, they might challenge it just to kind of roll the dice, you know, Berg, and perhaps maybe they see something different as they get a look at some different angles. Here's one more look, Singy. You think they're going to overturn it? I kind of do. Yeah, I think there's a good chance as well. I mean, the more I look at these different angles, the more I'm becoming convinced that he actually beat the throw. So it's turning out to be a pretty good challenge. The decision's been made, and he's safe. So they overturn the call, and they get the call of out. The first base has been overturned, and the battle is safe. Throw to first, and he's back in easily. Now a chance for Cole Finnegan. Throw! Save! Well, he picked up the runs just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. Slapped foul. Yeah. 
kick San Diego's. Rudder goes again. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And it's into the gap. In to score is the runner from third. It's 2 0. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Picks himself up in RBI. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Chris Sale. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high. Runner takes off for third. Strike in there. Throw to third. Save. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Runner from third comes across, and they lead by three. Comes through with the RBI. Timing on the swing is good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Next to hit, Vladimir Guerrero. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. One at second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. They put two on the board on three hits. No errors. No one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Angels three and the Red Sox nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Mo Vaughn. And here it comes. And he grounds one to the right side. Kendrick. Throws the first, and a quick out number one. And he's now just five outs away. He's got a real shot at this thing. Yeah, bro, he is rolling just in one of those grooves where he looks pretty unbeatable today. Right through there for a strike. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Left-hand batter waits. Well, Machado is out, and the count one and two. Hit on the ground, and it gets through. Just like that, the perfect game is gone. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, and he was just five outs away from the no-hitter. Bill. Heck of a game he's had, an excellent performance, but now he's got to get right back to attacking the next guy. That's out to center field. Edmonds in position. Puts it away for the out. So stepping in for Boston, Carl Yastrzemski. And a foul ball. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. Foul ball. And a pitch stays alive the halos down by a run here in the last half of the third that one hit to right as this one sized up makes the grab and that'll do it one left for the red side bottom of the eighth here's mike trip so now pete alonzo at the plate alonzo former second round pick out of the university of florida sale multi-time all-star he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Here's the 0-2. And they'll do it again. The 0-2. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And next for the Angels, Jim Edmonds. He swings and fouls one off. Sale delivers. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. 0-2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. 
And next for L.A., Tim Salmon. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He makes the grab, and that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the shortstop, Omar Garcia. Oh, just, just missed. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, but the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. So, man aboard, and now the right fielder, Dwight Evans. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking, foul ball. Well, that's where you want to be right there, all over that first pitch fastball. Just a little too much hook on it. Straighten that thing out. You get to jog around the bases. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the gloss. Fires to second for one, and that's two. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. That's a little bit low. Walsh is just one strike away. High drive, deep right field, that one on its way, it's a belly bomb! Go to first in time, and this one is over. And the Angels take the first two games of this series. Terrific job in this game, he scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count, got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. Pick it up, pick it up. I don't want all that dinner. Got no, can't think enough. Do no wick, I flick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. I don't want all that dinner. Got no, can't think enough. Do no wick, I flick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. I don't want all that d